Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's Lee here tonight, and I'm going to do a different video than what I normally do. And so, tonight I'm going to do a sewing machine review and demonstration. And um, I've been sewing for about 15 years, 15, 16 years, and I inherited my grandmother's um, old Singer machine that she had. It was in a cabinet, and it was um, it was heavy, and it was metal, and... It was a very sturdy machine, don't get me wrong. It was very, very reliable. It was a workhorse, but it only did a straight stitch, and it didn't do a zigzag. It didn't do any decorative stitches or any monogramming, and I like to be creative. I like to create stuff, and I just created this handbag tonight. It's a Japanese-inspired um, half-moon handbag that I created myself, so yeah, that's really pretty, um, but... I needed a good sewing machine, so I broke down and I went out and got me a brand new computerized machine. Did a lot of research on it, and the one that I found to li that I liked the most, or that I would enjoy using, and based on the reviews, I chose Brother. And I could have gone out and got another Singer because, of course, the reliability of my grandmother's old Singer lasted 45 years, but Singer's quality has gone downhill tremendously, and the quality of their machines is extremely, extremely poor. So I decided not to get a singer and I ended up buying a brother because I already have a serger from brother that I love and I have an embroidery machine that's embroidered only from brother and I love both of them. So it was only natural to buy a brother sewing machine as well. And I got the, um, the brother PC 420. It is a complete computerized sewing machine and let me introduce you to some of the features of this brother machine it has um, speed control so I can make the machine go really fast or for beginners or somebody who's not so comfortable you can push it all the way over here and the machine will go very slow or, or somewhere in between um, it does have it's got push button reverse to lock in those stitches or to um, um, secure a stitch when you're uh, sewing a seam it's got needle up needle down automatic needle up needle down the machine automatically stops and always stops with the, with the needle in the down position of course you can override that feature in the computer here or you can just simply press the needle up needle down button i always leave it down because when i'm sewing i like my needle to go into my fabric so that it'll be more stable and i can turn and pivot and do what i have to do um and then it's got the start stop button as you can see red means stop and Green means go. So, and I'll demonstrate how that start stop button works here in just a second. Um, this machine comes with 294 stitches built into the machine. It's got, um, you've got your heirloom stitches, you've got your cross stitches, you've got your blanket stitches, you've got applique stitches, decorative stitches, you've got three different size, um, three different types of lettering. You've got your outline, you've got your script alphabet, and your block alphabet. Um, the only one that comes in upper and lower case is the outline alphabet. The rest are strictly uppercase. You've got your new your numerals, all your punctuations. Um, everything on this machine is automatic. The threading is absolutely amazing. It's simple. It goes from the spool with the spool cap on it, numbered one, and it's numbered one, two, three, four, where the take up lever is, come back down to five, into the needle, and over here, this little button right here is an automatic needle threader. Um, so it's an amazing, amazing machine. I don't even have to get out my needle threader or my magnifying glasses to thread that eye of the needle because most of you know threading the eye of a needle on a sewing machine is a pain. So um, let me go ahead and demonstrate this for you. I'm gonna show you the feature of the start stop button because I'm sure most of you wanna know what that's all about. And um, I've got a piece of fabric right here. And as you can see, it's a piece of, um, just a regular piece and I'm doing this on the wrong side but anyway whatever and let me show you how this works the start stop button and that way you can see I'm gonna se select a simple zigzag stitch okay I've got my foot controller plug here it is here's my foot controller okay I'm not even gonna use it it's gone alright all I do to get the machine going is I push this button right here the start st start stop button and there it goes when I want to stop, all I do is I hit that start stop button again and it stops the machine. Now, let's say I'm a beginner and I don't want it to go so fast. All I have to do is move this lever right here and it slows down to almost nothing or I can speed it up somewhere in the middle or um, make it go really, really fast. 
And then let's go ahead and stop that. The needle, as you can see, always stops in the down position. Uh, if to raise it, I'd hit this button right here, and it raises that needle. And um, these little scissors right here, this is an amazing feature that I love about this machine that sold me on this machine when I tested it at the Brother Dealer, is push that little button, and voila, my threads are cut. So as you can see, I didn't have to reach for my scissors. I did not have to, to reach for my pinking shears or um, something to cut that thread with. It's the threads automatically cut. It cuts the upper and the lower bobbin thread. And the integrated computer on this machine, you can choose. Um, it's, it's 11 different languages. So you've got actually 13 different languages. You've got um, English, French, Italian, Spanish, Dutch, Portuguese, Japanese, um, Hindu. You've got basically a language for almost anyone in the world. Um, this machine is very lightweight. It's portable. Um, it's got a carrying handle here, and I do carry it um, with me when I do when I teach sewing classes on um, Thursday night. So um, I carry it with me, and um, it's just an all-around, well-built machine from the Brother Company, which makes awesome machines, and they have been in business for 70 years. So, and I want to show you another little feature about this machine too, that. Um, actually sold me on it when I first bought it and that was that I can combine patterns and when I say I can combine patterns I'm going to push this little button here and I'm going to go up to my decorative stitches okay and when I want to combine a pattern I select the pattern that I want hit okay then go back hit the plus button go back hit another pattern okay go back select another decorative stitch Okay, and I can keep doing that. So therefore, this machine becomes, not only does it have 294 built-in stitch functions, but now you can combine patterns, you can mirror image, you can stretch the pattern, or you can shrink the pattern, you can, um, the, of course, the stitch length and the width is automatically programmed for you. It's automatically preset from the factory. You can override that if you want. Um, normally, I just use the, the um, stitches that are pre-programmed from the factory because it does give you the best stitch quality. You don't have to fiddle with the tension and the length and the width of the stitch to find the look that you like. It's automatically programmed and you just pedal to the metal and go. Um, so that's a good feature about this machine that I absolutely loved. And um, when I tested out the machine at the Brother Dealer, that was they explained to me that it does come with a Brother 25-year warranty, which is amazing. So that's only from Brother Dealership if you buy it from a Brother Dealership. You can get this machine online. Of course, it does come with the factory warranty from Brother as well. However, no Brother authorized Brother Dealer will service the machine for you except for Brother. So that means you'd have to pack it up, ship it to Brother, and then pay the expenses for shipping and handling. So it's best to buy your machines from an authorized dealer. Because if something was to go wrong with it or you need an adjustment or whatever, you just take it into the dealership and they fix it and repair it for you. Um, the machine retails for about $600, which is an awesome price for a computerized machine. And um, it sews on all kinds of fabrics from heavy denim to heavy fleece to lightweight chiffon to, uh, from uh, chiffons to charmeuse silk to... Um, just a wide variety of fabrics and, and with the same needle. I don't even have to change the needle. So um, it's an amazing machine. I like my machine and I'm very pleased with it. And um, so that's, there you have it. There's my brother, uh, PC420 um, electro computerized sewing machine. Now it doesn't do embroidery. It's not an embroidery machine, but um, you can uh, do a wide variety of home deck projects, const garment constructions and whatnot for the, with this machine so I urge you if you if you need a new machine or if you're just getting into the world of sewing or you want to, to get into the world of, of sewing but you don't know what kind of machine to get get your computerized machine the one that's easy to use one that you don't have to sit there and fight with the one that you don't have to sit there and um, you know get frustrated over because you can't thread it or it doesn't stitch right or whatever so always remember the higher if technology is integrated into something, it's always usually easier to use. And that's my review tonight on the Brother PC420 um, computerized sewing machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Have a good night.